What's up everyone, Mortal Snow here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the drama and concern regarding the end of season live event. Now, we are scheduled to get another live event for this season, and the code name, everything's for it, has been leaked, it's been leaked, it'll have its own playlist. We know the event's going to have like six phases, ending on Black Hole, leading us to the to OG. The event's theorised to be on November 1st because Chapter 2 OG launches on November 2nd, so if it really has an end to the black hole, it'll probably happen the day before the new season, so we'll have the event, downtime, we'll have going to like, you know, black hole screen and downtime Chapter 2 OG. But there's as of recently there's been a bit of a concern regarding this event. Um, people only just realised today, I think it was, even though this was on the blog post in the beginning of Fort Nightmares, when Epic Games is blog post about the Fort Nightmares event. Um, and it says as follows. And wait, did Marshmallow combine with Raven for a monster mashup? When Fortnite Mellow 2024 nears its end, Raven Mellow will enter the shop to remind you Fortnite Mares is only the beginning of the end of year party. Now, people think because of the Raven pool, sorry, not Raven pool, sorry, the Raven Mellow skin coming to the shop at the end of Fortnite Mares, around that's exactly around the time the season ends, because Fortnite Mares goes right to the end of the season. Um, the fact the skin is coming just at the end of Fort Nightmares, and it says to remind you the Fort Nightmares is the only end is the, not only is only the beginning of the end of year party. It kind of looks like when they say end of year party, they mean the end of this season, meaning it could be part of related to like the party of the end of this season, meaning this the Ravenpool, AK Marshmallow, could have a concert at the end of this season, and that could be that could be the end of season live event instead of it being story focused, which. I'm not going to lie, there is some credible evidence against that, but also some evidence that could support that. For example, ever since Fortnite Mares has started, the storyline has just been like completely on hold. Like, we were going so well with the storyline this season until Fortnite Mares came out, and the storyline's just kind of like paused. Since, you know, ever since Fortnite Mares has come out, the storyline's kind of paused. We've had no new storyline quests since Fortnite Mares. There's been no build-up, despite the fact we are now actually technically less than two weeks away from Chapter 2 OG, and, the, and, way, and just under, a few days under two weeks until the live event, and yet we've got no build-up, which does cause concern, because normally if it's a storyline event, normally if you're at a point where the, you're at, there's two weeks to go to a storyline event, there's going to be some sort of build-up by now. The fact we've had no build-up yet is a little bit concerning, although we do have one more update for this season, um, a small update that will add in all the files to the event, but... It doesn't look like that's going to be coming this Tuesday now because it hasn't been added to the staging servers, which means it's going to be probably added later this week, most likely, or maybe it gets added the week after. But the reason why I wouldn't say it be added the week after is because that's the, is, that's literally the week chapter two OG releases, and they never really have an update on the same. They never really have an update on the last week of the season, so it's going to probably be some point this upcoming week the update. Oh, oh, and, and then again, I feel like just because it's not added to the staging servers doesn't matter because it's a small update, so they could add it to the staging servers whenever. I feel like I think, or maybe I could be wrong about that. But this does cause a bit of concern that this could be a concert live event. I personally think people are rushing a bit to conclusions here because we've got no really hardcore proof suggesting that yet. So I think people should, you know, we should like chill for a little bit because we're not really sure what's going on right now. But the reason why there's proof against that being the case is this event will have six phases ending in a black hole. Now, I don't see how a concert can have six phases end with ending in like a night night black hole screen. I don't really see how that works. Again, the concert could have multiple different levels to it, different songs. Um, I don't really think that's the case, though. I just don't see, because the thing is, when you go from season to season, you need it, you need some sort of story narrative. It, every, Epic always have a story narrative of how you go from season to season. And the fact we're going back to Chapter 2 OG, still right to us right now, I still don't really understand how we're going to Chapter 2 OG. There's nothing on the map that's causing us to go back to Chapter 2 OG. If we're going to Chapter 2 OG, there needs to be a reason. Chapter 1 OG... We had the reason was that we were going to get so we needed something to ex an extraction mission. We needed an extraction mission. I think Jones was, go was sent there to go there to basically reset the zero point to basically fix it because the zero point in our current timeline was destabilizing. So he went there to re to fix it. And when the big bang event happened, it didn't actually reset the entire. It didn't actually like reset the whole omniverse and everything post chapter one was removed. It actually just reset the zero point and basically boosted its power, reset it. So there needs to be some sort of reason we go back to Chapter 2 OG. Either the Chapter 4 map is weakened, it's getting destroyed, but there's nothing causing us to need to go back to Chapter 2 OG right now. There are some theories about there could be some consequences of a big bang event that we didn't know of, that could play a part in the end of season event, I think that Restro says or something. Um, as of right now, there's no hardcore evidence to suggest that we will be getting a cons event. I'm not going to lie to you, I am a little bit concerned since there's been no story build-up and we're less than two weeks away, but I think I'm going to chill a little bit, I'm not going to 
go too much into it. I think we need to chill a little bit and not like draw the conclusions so quickly because there's no actual proof indicating that is the case. Um, that end of year party thing that's mentioned in the blog post could have nothing to do with the event, although I can understand why some people might be concerned, but I think we're rushing to things a bit here. So, yeah, it's pretty much everything in this video um, covered. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.